Mr. Lowe's. What are you doing, Mr. Lowe's? Mr. Lowe's! Oh, hello. I'm Mr. Lowe's, and as you know, I'm Aboriginal. But sadly, I don't know much about my Aboriginal culture. So I've decided it's time to start learning. And as I learn, I'm going to share what I learned with you. Do you know what these instruments are called? No, not a guitar. Mr. Lowe's. They're called a didgeridoo. No, I said they're not a guitar. That's not funny. They sound like this. Well, maybe I need to learn how. Mr. Lowe's. This is Tara, and he's going to explain how the didgeridoo works. Yep. So this is the shop where we do music called didgeridoo. So our didgeridoo's are, uh, they're all from up north, which is Darwin. And then that place it grows in a hot and humid condition. And this is a eucalyptus plant. There's a very start of eucalyptus. So this eucalyptus are hollowed by termites. That's how they made so these reduce these are hollowed by termites and they go and knock the plant. If they find something good, they cut them, they season them for a while, and they walk from outside. This will have that much bark and timber. They clean them up and they create that balanced wall thickness. So once they do that, they resonate better. So they create that back pressure that way there. And inside they leave the termites tracking there, they clean and they seal them from inside. So the length determines the sound. The longer, the deeper. The shorter ones are higher pitch, and the middle ones are like uh, those are proper like uh, instrument which you can learn. You can you can play with other instruments and things like that. You don't get popped out quickly. So this is a beginner sort of a key, which is a key of D sharp. So that's where you start. So when you blow it, you do you need to wet your lips and blow soft raspberry. Look. So your lips goes in there and your cheek seals them out there and you blow as soft as you can. The softer you blow, the longer you're going to play. That's the whole idea. So you need to do just one drone and then stick to drone and then get better and better then the next step comes up. So wet your lips and blow raspberry up. So this is for beginners. That's a beginner stroke, so that's what you need to do. To wet your lips, you can use front lips to start with, and then make sure you seal it properly. So once you seal, you inside, your lips goes in the air. It's a little bit hard to blow your lips, so you don't blow air, you blow your lips you don't. So that's the procedure. And the breathing, so this is the whole process I'm going to show you. So I'm going to do a sacral breathing, and then I'm going to use your lip, my lips, my vocal, and my tongue process. and picking the right instrument. To did reduce a good instrument has to be very, very well eaten by thermite and they have to have the balance wall thickness and they also have to have the flare at the bottom to give it base. So when air you blow, it spreads out. It doesn't take a lot of air. When they're straight without the flare, they actually when you blow air, you have to push more air because you blow it all the way right to the bottom, it doesn't flare out. So that's why you see the proper instruments, they all have flare. So they all look for a one which is a, as a player. Yeah. yeah. So that's the big one. Yeah, the, the big one. I'm sure the big one. So when, when you talk about like performance did you do, those are a little bit different. So the performance ones they they, they create that balance wall thickness. See the thickness here? Yeah. So they do this so that way it, it creates more back pressure that way. And they leave the termites track. You see they're rough inside. 
maybe this one here. You can put it point <coughs> You see the rough inside, so that's very important. So when there's no rough, that means they, they, they destroy the two miles track, they resonate different way. They, they become like a PVC pipe or bamboo. They become fast and slow. So, so that's how it's done. And so this one's when you fly, these are full sound ones, you know. So this is for like performing. It takes less air and gives you a lot of bass sound. So. Ishan tried to play the didgeridoo as well. to stand in front of mirror and practice his lips first. <laughs> Maybe you're pushing too hard. Maybe yeah, yeah. That's what I did Just first. loose, loose. So heap softer. Yeah. No, no. Not too tight. Like a horse. No, no. No, no blow soft as well. <laughs> no, that's too tight. Yeah, you play tight, see what happens. Like sometimes tight. <laughs> No, it's too tight, like loose. No, it's, it's too tight. When you tight, it's like you're playing like trumpet. No, 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 no tongue. No tongue. Yeah. So, uh, house, you know, they do like orchestra. There's a guy called William Barton, played all the time there. All the hundred musicians, this is the only shop in, in the whole world we specialize in this we do. So, the makers we have, these are the country's best makers. So, 
this this make is very hard to get a hold of them because they don't make too many. So they make whatever they make, they make from their heart, you know. Like, so they have to knock hundred trees to get ten ten degrees. So this is the whole idea, you know. Like, so this is not like a mass produced sort of category. The most traditional ones are this ones here. These are uh, idakis. These come from a place called Anamai. Uh, no. So those are original. You know, those are that's how they used to do all the way. So those are the colors they used in ceremonies. So these are, you know, spirituals. So, uh, but they're hard to do. Oh yes. So then that big it becomes too much base. It's not a shop. Up in the mouth and put it by the bottom. <laughs> and then once you get better with that halfway, go all the way down. That's where your lungs get up. That's how it is. This is about developing your lungs. Yeah, okay. You see, like uh, if you become a sexual breather, your lungs is eight to ten times stronger than normal. Yeah. And it opens your breathing part, it strains all the breathing muscles from the inside, people suffer from storing problems, taking care of the asthma, this kills you. So because it, it, the muscle inside is not open up, your wind pipe is blocking, you're not doing tense exercise, yeah. you know, so that, this is like a tense exercise, you know? so when you do tense exercise, that's when you do secular breathing, you get up down. <laughs> This might be good thing because I do so. Yeah, this is actually helping big time. This once you, you become a secular leader, you, you'll see the difference in your life. Huge difference. You have energy all the time, you're ready to go. You'll exercise, you feel like exercising, you have energy. This is what you should do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, awesome. so, practice. Where, where, where you live? Camel Town. I can do yeah, there's a lot of help, you know, like not there if you're local, you know, I'm sure that people are going to give lessons and things like that. But you don't need lessons. This is about researching and then doing more, you know, yeah, yeah, so that's the whole idea, yeah, yeah. so. And then more time you spend better you get, you know, so 15, 20 minutes of that, and it keeps the doctors away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No problem. Ishan and I really enjoyed listening to Tara play the didgeridoo. And it wasn't long until he had a captive audience. Now it was time for me to decide which didgeridoo I should buy. Although I was very tempted to buy one of the larger didgeridoos, I decided to take Tara's advice and start with a beginner's didgeridoo. Uh, what are you doing, Mr. Lowe's? <laughs> We get it, Mr. Lowe's. Now I'm ready to go home and start practicing. 